there are major criticisms that have been leveled at the JMEN trial. The JMEN trial, of course, was the uh, phase three randomized effort that showed a survival benefit from maintenance, pemetrexa, in this case switch maintenance, versus IV placebo in patients who had stabilized or responded to an induction regimen of platinum plus either a taxane or gemcitabine. So it's really a landmark trial. Um, the phrase has been overused, but definitely par paradigm changing. The major criticism, there are a number of criticisms, but really the major criticism was the absence of a mandatory crossover in the control arm to intravenous pemetrexa. Now, patients were not excluded from receiving second line treatment. And most did. In fact, uh, two-thirds went on to some sort of second-line uh, uh, treatment, and about 80% of that group actually got a validated second-line treatment, so either docetaxel, EGFR, TKI, or pemetrexid. But only 19% of all those enrolled on the control arm, the IV placebo, received pemetrexid. And I think if there had been a mandatory crossover, not mandatory in the sense that all patients had to do it, but at least built into the trial so the patients had the option of getting pemetrexed in the control group as part of the trial and not trying to seek it out commercially, that if that had been included and we still observed the survival advantage that was um, seen in the actual trial, that would have inoculated this trial from major criticism.